Yo guys, if you're the first time watching the video, make sure that's the subscribe button. Also hit the post notification to be notified when I post a video and like the video. Hey, and enjoy the video. Oh, what's going on, people? Cobra Saw Green. Patch you got another video that you guys have seen. There's no I'm not using the green screen. I'm done using my green screen. Because of um some copyright issues, y'all. So until all that gets resolved. No longer will we be using the green screen, y'all. It's just be me and you guys talking. So what is going on, everybody? Cobra Stock Green. Bats got another video today. Yo, so I'm going to start out with this video by just saying everybody was really annoyed at the last episode of Power. Nobody really liked, liked the episode. A couple of people liked it, but most of the people, even you, you probably didn't like it. And I'm going to tell you why you didn't like it and all this stuff. So, uh, cue the intro. We got a problem. 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 It's probably you. Yeah. We got a problem. We got a problem. We got a problem. We got a problem. You know, I want to get something off my chest, y'all. So, when I said this was going to be the filler episode and probably a boring episode and my what to ex what to expect video um, for the last episode, didn't nobody believe me. I was getting stuff on Twitter, like, nah, you're lying, all this stuff. And then when the episode hits, and the same people that said that, that I was lying that wasn't going to be a boring episode were the same people hitting me up saying, that episode was trash. And the only reason why y'all are saying it's trash, well, there's a couple reasons y'all are saying it's trash. I'm going to go to my reasons why I think it's trash first. I think it's trash because a lot of things they explain in the episode, a lot of new things they bring into place, this phone um, has, you know, throwing dirt, having, having dirt thrown on Angela's name, all that, like everything that could have had a big payoff at the end of the day, nothing happens, y'all. The phone that goes nowhere, uh, Angela Dev and, and, and she made Angela look, look like a worse person after Dev goes nowhere. Um, let's, we, we're not even going to get on the fact that Paz can bring a gun into a nightclub that, um, like people will say right here. J oh, I don't even got it connected. Whatever. But that just got robbed. Literally, guys. You guys remember an episode where even Ghost saves the whole thing. It just got robbed. And you can literally walk in and keep holding your purse like this. Like, you come on, somebody got to be like, bro, is she reaching for a gun or what is she doing? You know what I'm saying? A lot of, there was, there's, this is the one episode where I'm like, wow, there was way, way, way too many plot holes. And the only reason why this episode doesn't get like a 1 out of 10, 2 out of 10, is because of the last 10 minutes, 5, 10 minutes of the episode, which were the best parts of the episode. But why do I, have to, why do I feel like I have to waste 40 minutes just to get to the good stuff? And it's good stuff that sets up the next episode. So it, it, this episode wouldn't even serve a purpose, to be honest. If I'm being, that's just my honest opinion, uh, you guys. Um, yeah, this was by far one of the worst episodes I've ever seen from Power. I've been told y'all that, though. Like, even going into this episode, I didn't have a lot of high expectations on it because of the fact that it's going to be Paz-driven. The whole thing is going to go through Paz's day. And you know what? It's not Paz's fault either, you guys. If we're being honest and being realistic, it's not her fault, man. Her character is very, very, very poorly written. And when you put a whole episode on a very poorly written character, this is going to be your result, bro. Now, if they would have done, if, if her motivation is a little bit more than just trying to figure out who Angie's killer was, then okay. If she has another purpose there, then okay. I'm cool with it. But her, the, the point that her only purpose is to, to find out who killed Angie, bro, that is so boring. And they literally spent an episode of her feeling through a gun and her just yelling, do it, kill her, kill Jay, do it, do it, do it. That's, that's the whole episode, y'all. And it's just like, jeez. I didn't think they were going to do it, honestly. If I'm being real, and that's why I also did, I didn't say the episode was that bad because my expectations on this episode were so low. Like, I would, my, bro, when I'm telling y'all, I went in here like, I'm not going to like it. And then I was like, you know what? It's not that bad because my expectations were too low. But yeah, guys, tell me why. In the comment section down below, why you think the episode was bad, y'all? Was it plot holes? Was it nothing really happened? Now, I want to ask you guys also, if there was a character that was killed off, say Paz or Sax were killed off in this episode, do you think it would have been better, y'all? Put it down in the comment section down below. Also, if you guys are new to my channel, hit that subscribe button, like the video. Yeah, this episode was trash. But I think next episode will be a lot better. 
Um, expect to expect a what to expect video coming out very soon, or I don't know when I'm just gonna drop, but expect that coming soon. And I will see you guys in my next video. Peace.